Okay, welcome to Divine Lotus Tarot. We are going to be taking a look at a reading, but before we get into it, I would like to invite you to book your personal session with me at my website, www.divinelotustarot.com. You can find the link below this video. Also, I want to invite you to follow me and support my social media sites. Um, and you can find the links to each one of those under this video as well too. Um, also, I do do different types of reading on my different social media sites than I do over here on YouTube. And I also offer like different deals and things that sometimes I may or may not put over here. So that is why it would be a beneficial for you to go ahead and follow those social media accounts. So we're going to go ahead and get into the reading now. I was guided to do a reading for those of you with significant placements of Aries in your birth chart. And it was coming out as for those of you who are females. Now even more specifically, I was picking more so up on the, the topic and the energy of this reading was um, it feels like there are some of you who may feel that you do not resonate with the sexual orientation that you have of being a female okay so we're gonna go ahead and get into the reading for you so some initial messages i was picking up is that some of you um do not resonate with the female gender okay now maybe um, for some of you, it's because you just rather not identify yourself as male or female. In some instances as well, too, I was picking up some of you just more so resonate with the gender of being a male, even though you come off or, you know, you exude a feminine presence. Okay. And that's what I was picking up. Um, I also was picking up an energy that there is an energy for some of you where your sexual orientation preference may be um, bisexual and I feel this is something that you're you may be open with um, or there are people who may know of this um, however I just feel the thing for you comes to you feeling a sense of void and loneliness around the fact that you want to come off like aesthetically wise more like a male or in a masculine energy i feel for some of you when you were younger this was something that you know you would be able to do um you you may have exuded or dressed more in a what would be called like a tomboy type of energy um but i also see the energy that some of you may have like given this up it looks like maybe some of you may be um either parents or you're in a relationship or you're married to some extent and i feel like maybe some of you felt like in order to hold those roles and titles um that you had to conform to being more of what society would deem as um feminine in order to be in those roles but I also was picking up an energy that some of you, when it comes to the role of being a mother, some of you kind of feel um, sad in that role. Um, it could also be some of you kind of feel sad in the role of being um, a wife or just um, having to exude this feminine trait, you know, like where you have to dress in a certain type of way. And it really feels like there's a, a great sense of sadness around this for you because I feel like, you know, some of you just really resonate with more strongly wanting to exude more of a masculine like type of appearance or, or presence um, is what I'm picking up. And it kind of feels like some of you are feeling like you're trapped in the, your body um, because you don't really associate with being a female you know you you more so associate with being a masculine or or being being masculine or being a male 
and I also feel some of you kind of feel like you're kind of stuck or trapped in the roles that you have because it almost feels like you take your vows very seriously so maybe some of you are mothers or maybe some of you are wives um, and it kind of feels like you would rather not um, break the vow that you you made in in these instances for the sake of putting what you truly want on the back burner even though it makes you feel really lonely really sad um, and you kind of feel ashamed and guilty at times because you kind of resent certain aspects of the role that you're in the status that you're in the the body that you're in but then at the same time you it feels like you're just not um, like like you're not allowed to or you don't feel like you're allowed to to um, live this out okay be free to live this out um, I do see as well too I do see as well too that it it appears that maybe sometimes um, in relationships when it comes to um, those of you when you're dating males it seems like there's a competitive nature that can come up within you so I'm not sure if you're aware of this but it feels like you kind of naturally compete with the males that you are in relationships with and I do sense that there is some slight like jealousy um, around the fact that the males that you get with it they get to you know they just get to naturally and comfortably exude their masculinity while you have to suppress and you know kind of hide the fact that you resonate more with being masculine yourself and so I see this kind of brings up a sense of energy where you can become very like mean or cold or very like even aloof or detached in your relationships um, is what I'm, I'm picking up. So this could even, you know, signify that some of you will like maybe avoid being around your partner, um, even avoid having to... Um, have sex with your partner like maybe always trying to stay busy always trying to stay at work so that um, essentially you don't have to uh, face your partner because I feel like sometimes when it gets down to it um, it goes back to the struggle the inner struggle that you're actually dealing with that you haven't resolved come to terms with or even openly and outwardly shared this um, so I feel like it comes up as like you coming off very, very mean sometimes or just very aloof and very attached as if you don't care. Um, but I feel like it's because the internal struggles that you're dealing with that you're not voicing. You're not making this, you know, you, you obviously are not making this clear to your to your significant other or other people who you're dealing with that you might just come off in that way um, for the fact that you know this there's this turmoil that you're battling with that you're dealing with and I feel like I feel like um, that's that's how it comes off to other individuals like you you may not realize or even associate the two with each other but I mean that's what I'm picking up um, like your energy is very like cutthroat mean um, in a sense to, to individuals but I, I feel especially it could just be like the partners that you get with it can really come off in that manner okay I feel as well too that some of you kind of feel like you owe it to like your spouse to your kids to society maybe some of you hold um public roles public statuses or just very significant like authority or leadership um, types of roles it kind of feels like some of you are in positions of being a role model or you may see yourself as a role model or others may look at you and have uh, appointed you as some type of role model or figure um and it kind of feels like you don't want to let other individuals down by essentially coming out and being who you know you truly want to be i feel like as well too some of you are still trying to really come to grips with what all that entails um because i did pick up an energy that some of you were interested or you had at least even thought about like a sex change is what i was picking up 
Um, and then for others of you, like I said, it's just more so the aesthetics wise. Like you, 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 you would rather embody aesthetically, you know, um, an appearance that more so is associated with masculine. So, you know, maybe your hairstyle, uh, maybe the way you dress, maybe the way you talk, um, maybe just your swag and, and your mannerisms and things of that nature as well, too. So I, I, I definitely just see like some of you um, kind of feel like th that's another thing that kind of puts you in a, a feeling of entrapped energy because you kind of feel like you have to uphold these like standards and you have to hold these vows, um, you know, to these different things, you know, to your to, to, to these different roles or to the, the, the way that other individuals have like look at you or or your your um sense of being some type of role model you feel like in the sense that you would be letting individuals down if you were to just be who you wanted to be okay okay it feels like some of you are going to get some type of news this news could be pertaining to your mom or like a mother figure or um some type of maternal energy it feels almost like this person is it don't it doesn't feel like good news it feels like news pertaining to this person's like their health okay like this person's health could be deteriorating um that's what i'm picking up so this person could have some type of um if they could have some type of health issues okay that could be very like serious um in nature but it almost feels like by you getting this news about this that comes in related to this individual it kind of like is going to make you come to terms with being more comfortable to like live out your truth is what i'm picking up So I, I almost feel like so I almost feel like someone else's quality of life that is deteriorating um, could be almost like a I'm just getting like something's gonna like shock you or jolt you into you feeling more comfortable to embody and live out your truth that's what i'm kind of getting and it also feels like so may, maybe it feels like as well too um it feels like a, a family secret is going to be exposed so maybe you are going to finally come out and let everyone know how you feel and pertain to this um maybe to the extent you know of things that you've been keeping from individuals maybe if it pertains to maybe your family didn't know that you were interested in females or that you may you know lead a bisexual type of life or that you were um bi curious um or even the fact that like you resonate more with masculine energy but i'm also seeing there are other types of family um secrets that are going to be getting revealed and exposed is what i'm seeing yeah okay so moving on to some other things that i'm picking up for those of you that this applies to um i'm picking up that there is secret feelings that some of you hold for a friend of yours okay now in some instances some of you are secretly dating this friend on the low um, in other instances, some of you just have secret feelings and you haven't acted on this um, towards your friend yet, but I feel like you you do. You have the intention to, well, you, you want to, but I don't um, feel like you're actively doing it at the moment. Now, the thing is, okay, what is going on here is some of you could be having money problems, money issues, money trouble. I heard money is funny. Some of you, your money could be funny because 
those of you who are dating this individual on the low, there is some of you who are actually in relationships right now. So some of you are in relationships, meaning that you're in heter heterosexual relationships, um, or just a, simply a relationship where your partner is not aware that you're with this individual. So, so regardless of the, um, you know, the, the sexual preference in this situation, it's the fact that your partner who you're with does not know that you are dating this friend of yours, okay? Some of you, it, it definitely feels more so like this is pertaining to those of you who are in heterosexual relationships, okay? And you could be dating your friend who is a, a female and, you know, the two of you are um, essentially dating each other behind your significant other's back, okay? And the fact that you have not disclosed this to them, that could be why some of you are having money issues. Now, for others of you where you're not dating anyone, but you just are holding your feelings in and you haven't come out and fully expressed this, it feels like your money is also being blocked, but I feel like it's because your money is tied to your feelings and your sense of suppressing your emotions and how you truly feel. And be, with that being connected to your money, that is why money could you could be having money issues. I see that once you either let your significant other know that you're dating this individual okay um and whatever comes of that comes of that whether you and your significant other work it out that you can have a relationship outside of their relationship boom or whether you just officially end things with your significant other and then be official with this um, friend like just the two of you know the two of you are in a um, official relationship in the sense that you're no longer lying and deceiving this other individual who is your significant other who you have a, a, essentially like your main relationship okay and officially just be with your friend who would be your friend turned lover or once those of you who are just single um, just be honest with yourself and um, acknowledge your feelings is what I'm seeing I feel like it's more so okay for those of you who are single it may not even be the fact that you even need to admit to this friend that you're interested in them I mean if that's the next step that you want to take that definitely would be up to you i feel it's more so just you need to come to like realization within yourself like i feel like you need to feel comfortable with it because it kind of feels like you're like trying to deceive yourself you know what i'm saying and i feel like once you become okay with that you will probably just naturally you know make it known to this friend if you feel comfortable or you know your friend has already made it known that they're interested in you and then the two of you will naturally just move into that if that's what y'all desire to do but I feel like it's more so just you being open and honest with yourself because it, it definitely feels like you're trying to like trick yourself or deceive yourself in some type of manner like I think you feel by like being deceptive to other individuals like and then you just kind of like not really acknowledging accepting and owning it this is blocking your money either way so the fact that there is like a secret life i feel like or a secret like side to you that you're not just okay with you're not comfortable with it feels like because your emotions are attached to your money your ability to make money your ability to uh tr attract money into you it feels like that is why money is not coming in for you it, it just feels like once you stop lying to yourself or stop lying to other people is what it feels like then um it feels like things are going to open up for you and money will start to come back into your life and then um i feel like i see you, some of your life significantly improving as well too because i, I see um it's going to bring a sense of happiness in your life okay 
especially because it just feels like your life is out of whack like it feels like it's like it's not balanced right now is what I'm picking up and then lastly before we wrap this message up what I'm seeing is some of you as well may feel like you're going to lose some type of opportunities promotions endorsement deals if you are to come out and just um, be honest about your nature we have three 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 on the clock so that may be um, significant for some of you but I feel like um, you're not going to lose necessarily the deals that matter okay I feel like as well too you're going to be if you do lose any deals you're going to be compensated in other ways so it's almost like you'll fall into alignment with the things that are aligned for you and your true nature and the things that are not aligned with you and were never aligned with you yes you may lose those so that that is true you may lose certain um i'm hearing benefits perks um or certain opportunities but i feel like that's only so that the right ones can come in that are better suited and better aligned for you with you walking and operating in your truth and honesty so essentially i'm getting the sense that things are going to wash themselves out whatever you lose you're going to be um essentially like compensated for that in another manner so it won't technically even really be a loss it's just going to be a different format okay okay and then just last message okay it feels like some of you your birthday may be coming up but either way i feel like there was a significant birthday um that you had so i'm getting either your 40th birthday your 41st birthday or it was like a golden birthday or there was some type of significant milestone that your birthday was for you or that it was associated with and i feel like there was a wish that you made on a previous birthday so that's why i'm saying some of your birthdays might be coming around again and you're about to get that wish and i feel like whatever you wished for was along the lines of some of you essentially wanting to be able to honor your true authentic selves with honoring the sexual gender um that you resonate with you know as far as being able to comfortably and outwardly self-express yourself i feel like the patterns events of your life are aligning to help you be able to do that so the fact that maybe certain things may be coming to an end it is the result the direct result of whatever you wished for on your birthday is what i'm picking up and so it's almost like something is coming full circle okay that's that's basically what i'm getting something is coming full circle for something that you you wished so that's pretty much all the messages that i have for you if you would like to book your own personal private session with me, you can go to my website, www.divinelotustarot.com and be blessed, you all.